In May of 2013, Time magazine ran a cover story called The Me, Me Generation. Among other things, it reported some very troubling statistics about narcissism, especially among young people, and I quote, Narcissistic personality disorder is nearly three times as high for people in their 20s as for the generation that is now 65 or older. 58% more college students scored higher on a narcissism scale in 2009 than in 1982. Millennials got so many participation trophies growing up that a recent study showed that 40% believe they should be promoted every two years, regardless of performance, just for showing up. If that was true 10 years ago, I have to assume the numbers are probably even higher today. Our culture and the era of social media have taken away our care for and interaction with other people and made us focus only on me, myself and I. Even our devices are called iPhone, iPad, iOM. No one even knows how to ask someone else to take their picture. Just take a selfie. So what does the Torah have to say about all this? One very powerful idea is found in the first verse of our parsha, See, I put before you today a blessing and a curse. The book of Dvarim is mostly Moshe Rabbeinu talking. So we would expect him to say, Re'ei Hashem neisein lifneichem. Look, God, Hashem is putting before you blessings and curses. Why does he use the word anoichi? I believe it's because anoichi has a double meaning. Anoichi is a holy word. We are very familiar with it. It's the word which began our entire relationship with God at Sinai. Anoichi Hashem elekecha. But it can also become a very mundane reference to the self, to the I. So Moshe is telling us, in every single generation. Re'eh, take a good look. Anoichi. Which anoichi do you see? If it's anoichi Hashem Kecha, if God is constantly present in your life, then it's a bracha, a true blessing. But if you only see your own anoichi, your me, myself, and I, then unfortunately it's the very opposite. As the holy Baal Shem Tov would comment on the passage, anoichi aimed ben Hashem uveneichem. Sometimes, What's standing in between us and God is anoichi, the I. So this week, let's look inward and make the decision to shift the focus from a selfish I to a selfless I. Let's bring Hashem a little more into our own lives and let us all be blessed with everything we need. Begashmiyas u Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom u